there's some YouTubers out there that every time you go to their videos, they're just covered with such cruelty. Uraza? Just such, such cruelty by other human beings. Don't you realize that's a real person behind the camera trying their hardest every day to make you happy? Well, he passed out on the floor, and we're waiting for you guys to know that he's going to go get a rabies vaccine. Oh, my head hurts so bad. I feel like I'm being everywhere. It's so uncomfortable. It hurts to just be alive. The possibility is that I have pre-diabetes, diabetes, I'm pre-diabetic or I have diabetes, I have hypertension, I could have high blood pressure, I could, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I want to apologize for offending anybody when I made the statement, I hate the third world. I just, I need something, someone to talk to. Remember back in, what was it, March? The police framed me, they put bullets in my suitcase. I was bribed by the government. I almost got stabbed in Las Vegas. <laughs> Out of hate, I got on my video with Orlin, the volcano fire. The volcano fire noodles is just unacceptable. It's just one thing after another with me. I'm leaving to get deported, and <laughs> we're having Domino's pizza. So kind. <laughs> Telling you this, I miss him so much. I really miss him. And now I'm married to that person. This content was embarrassing to watch and probably even more uncomfortable if you had the displeasure of being associated with it. It ultimately culminates in a series of videos where All In allegedly breaks up with Nick over Instagram. This causes Nick to upload multiple emotional Instagram posts and go full joker mode on his channel. Can I just say, I am not having it today. I am not having it today. Today. Missy two shoes. You people on my Instagram, first of all, it is a privilege, P R I V E L E G, privilege to be there. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. This persisted over the following year with many new developments, including breakups, new dates, Nick dragging it all in's reputation and then trying to rescue it himself. Now, as bizarre as this turn of events is, it's completely in line with the behavior observed. So I don't really have too much to add here. He exploits previous situations, focuses in on the negative, acts over emotional, contradicts himself massively in the space of a couple videos. These are all behaviors we've covered. No. In this part, we're going to analyze a new facet of the surface later on. But to do that, I need to set the scene. It's 2018, mukbang content is in full swing. Nick had been experiencing constant growth. However, it's likely that with the degree of drama he immersed himself in, he had considerable audience turnover. By 2019, that was going to change. What do I mean? Nick has been a drama queen for the majority of his YouTube career. But when Nick created drama within his own personal